and uh, yeah, I will show you here and then like this. So you can make you can make a quite an extended structure, and because of this extended network, hydrogen bonds are very strong. So these hydrogen bonds give water a very where give water very peculiar properties and let's see what these peculiar properties are so just like ionic bonds result in the formation of an ionic lattice covalent bonds result in the formation of a simple molecular structure so a simple molecular structure is what you saw water and everything and in a simple molecular structure we are talking about, we are more interested in intermolecular forces like hydrogen bonds and van der waals forces rather than covalent bonds now these molecules are held together by intermolecular forces we know molecules that are held together by van der waals forces are usually gases and have low melting and boiling points and low enthalpies of vaporization as well now this is very clear because um, because we know that uh, van der waals forces are pretty weak in nature like even though permanent dipole dipole are stronger than idid permanent dipole dipole is still in terms of magnitude pretty weak molecules that are held together by hydrogen bonds have high melting points boiling points and enthalpies of vaporization now this is what i was talking about so let's first talk about high melting points boiling points and enthalpies of vaporization so if you see if you see the hydrogen bonds are strong right so you need a lot of energy to break these hydrogen bonds so because you need so much energy to break these hydrogen bonds bam you know it's because of these strong hydrogen bonds yeah so uh they are strong they're pretty pretty strong in relative terms now molecules that are held together by id by id id forces are insoluble in water but highly soluble in non polar solvents now there is this concept in chemistry it's called like dissolves like which means non polar dissolves in non polar polar dissolves in polar like dissolves like so you will never write like dissolves like in your papers you will get zero marks for writing that but this is just to explain to you now we will understand the chemistry behind this in a minute first let's do these two the two other points molecules that are held together by permanent dipole dipole forces are weakly soluble in water weakly soluble in non polar solvents and highly soluble in polar solvents remember this point molecules that are held together by by hydrogen bonds are highly soluble in water now now see the the chemistry behind this is that when i put a non polar molecule and we know that non polar molecules are held by id id forces when i put a non polar molecule in water the non polar molecule cannot form hydrogen bonds with water right it cannot form hydrogen bonds in, with water it ca it can only and uh, because it does not have any hydrogen bond like properties so uh, the uh, non polar compounds cannot form hydrogen bonds with water molecules and that's why they are insoluble in water that's why oil is not soluble in water because oil is a non polar compound while water water needs to form hydrogen bonds that's why oil does not dissolve in water but but non polar compounds they dis they dissolve in highly uh, highly soluble they are highly soluble in non polar solvents now this is because they can form id id forces with the non polar solvents right because obviously we know how id id forces work so they can form id id forces with non polar solvents and that's why they can dissolve in non polar solvents molecules that are held together by permanent dipole dipole forces are weakly soluble in water because what we know about these molecules that are held together by permanent dipole dipole forces is that they are polar right they are polar and we know that even water is polar so even though they can they, even though both of them are polar these permanent dipole dipole forces molecules cannot form hydrogen bonds with water so even though so they are soluble but they are only weakly soluble because they cannot form hydrogen bonds with water they are weakly soluble in non polar solvents as well but they are highly soluble in polar solvents highly soluble in polar solvents because they can form permanent dipole dipole forces with polar solvents like dissolves like remember 
so they will dissolve in polar solvents molecules that are held together by by hydrogen